go ahead and heat it up and see Well, that heated up pretty quick, actually. What's up, guys? This is Tampa Tech. Back over here, I have three different solder irons I'm gonna test out. I'm gonna show you which one heats up the fastest, which one's best to use on the go, and which one's best to use in certain situations. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here we have it. We have electric soldering iron. This is an electric thermostatic soldering iron with built-in LCD screen. 80 watts of high power Celsius and Fahrenheit auto sleep mode when not in use and temperature controlled and it comes with five soldering tips. And then right here we have the quick charge rechargeable soldering iron kit by Isotip. And we also have the butane version made by Isotip and this is Solder Pro 90. It comes with the solder dispenser and these different tips, the hot knife, the cone tip and I think this is the cone tip and sponge all in a carrying case, which is nice. I have some wire right here. We're going to go ahead and solder some wire and I have some solder joints we're going to hit up. So this is the version that we have right now currently is the model 7700 and that includes the quick charge soldering iron and then it also includes recharging stand, um, the battery and then the fine tip and the heavy duty tip, one year warranty, fully charges in three to four hours, partially charges in one to two hours, up to 120, up to 125 soldering joints, continuous use, and withstands high rate charging without damage. Yeah. And so this one is equivalent to 80 watt soldering iron. And this is definitely the most portable. So there's all the tips that you can get and it does come with two tips so let's go ahead and pull this out oh there it is right here here's the two tips come on get out there we go so you got a chisel one well this is actually a kind of like a cone tip and slanted and then this is like a, a just like a fine tip right here oh that just flew out of my hand for some reason you see that and right here is a charging station. So let's go ahead and see what's inside that charging station. Let's see. There we go. Oh, it's pretty basic actually. It looks like it's easy to straightforward, really. Yeah. I don't see that going bad. I, I can't imagine any of those parts going bad. The transformers usually last decades. So. The only thing you really have to replace is probably the battery because I'm, I'm assuming the battery probably eventually goes bad after like five years or something around that time. And we're going to charge it up. There's no LED indicator light. I wish it had the LED light letting you know it's fully charged, but it does not have that. It'd be nice to see, uh, you know, when it turn red when it's charging and green when it's fully charged. So I think that's pretty standard nowadays. But they do have that in the upgraded version. There we go. Actually, let's go ahead and put the tips on. So I'm going to use the fine tip because I think that's pretty standard. There we go. And just push that in like that. Hold it in. Make sure it's in the lock position because if you're holding it like this, you could accidentally turn it on. You know when it's turned on because the light turns on and the button's pressed down. You, you don't want to burn yourself. So right now it's in child safe mode. And if you have it on the dock, you want to make sure you have it in lock mode if you have kids nearby. And then flip it up and you have use mode and it lights up right here. So. There's our light right there. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, it's pretty bright actually. So we got this one right here, the Isotip Pro 90. And as you can see, it does come with a solder wire and a sponge. So you can clean the tip. And it comes with the hot knife. And right here it has the fine tip 
and then also the chisel tip. So right here is the hot air tip, which is great for heat shrink tubing. So if you want to switch it out, you just unscrew it right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and slide that down for now. And we're going to swap it out with the fine tip. Just drop it straight down. Screw that on. There you go. There we go. You just get some butane, turn it upside down, insert it right there, and push and hold. Push down and hold. There you go. If it starts spitting out, then you want to release. All right, so now you got to slide it over, turn it on, and it heats up really quick. Let's see how fast it heats up. And about, I think it's less than a minute. There we go, less than a minute. So you guys look at, see it's already melting. So it's hot enough to melt solder wire in less than a minute. So that's really quick, great on the go. But if you're in tight quarters, you really don't want to use this because you could burn things, you know, like for example, if you're soldering something and it's near wire and it's, you can actually burn the wire. So if you're like this close, you can actually burn the wire. So right around here, about like an inch from here, you can scorch wiring. So you got to be careful. So I wouldn't necessarily use this for automotive reasons, because usually, you know, if you're soldering wire, like, you know, for like a, you're doing like a dash cam and you're soldering the backup camera and you're in tight quarters and there's wires nearby, you might accidentally burn and scorch the wiring that's inside the car. So you really do have to be more cautious using this. There we go. And so we're gonna twist up some wire like that. And then we're gonna get some solder paste, of course, because that's gonna help bond the solder. So let's go ahead and do that. So I just dip my tip in the solder paste. And just wipe some of that on there. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on, heat it up. I think it takes about yeah less than 30 seconds there it goes and that is pretty solid it's good the flux really does help big time so yeah you just want to twist it up wipe some solder paste on that connect uh, on that wire and then yeah, it's a little bit soldered, not too much. So it looks like it's working. And it's in, it's like equivalent to like maybe an 80 watt soldering iron. So that worked out pretty well. Okay, now let's go ahead and turn this off. Okay, now it's an off. And now you gotta wait a little while before putting the cap on. So this is the electric soldering iron right here and it's adjustable so we're going to increase it there we go increase this up to 350 celsius which should be plenty to melt solder there we go all right and if you want to switch out the tip you have to do the same thing you have to un unscrew that and you remove the tip swap it out i just plugged it in I'm heating it up right now and it takes like a full minute. Yeah, see it's not ready yet. And this is motion sensitive, so when you like move it around, it actually turns on. It's almost done. There it goes, starting. 
There it goes. And let's go ahead and heat it up now. This one does take a little bit longer. There it goes. And looks like we're good there. So here's the other Isotip Pro 50 soldering, butane solder iron. And let's go ahead and charge it up with the butane fuel. You just stick it here, fill it up. You can see through the window, you can see that it's getting full. And when it starts spitting out like that, you want to stop. I love that it's, you know, see-through window. That really helps. And also, I love that it has a kickstand. That's great. So you just turn it on like that. But you do have to have a lighter. All right, so let's go ahead and turn that on. So once you have it set, you'll see it turn amber inside. Yeah, it just doesn't work as good as the other ones. So in my opinion, if you're going to get a butane solder iron, get the bigger one with the carrying case. So now I got this one right here, the battery operated soldering iron. And see how fast it heats up. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, wow, that's like less than 10 seconds he heats up. That's amazing. Look at that, that's quick. Jeez, fast. Billy the Kid fast. Oh, that's quick. Nice. That was quick. I like it. Here's a bigger one. Let's go ahead and heat it up and see. Well, that heated up pretty quick, actually. I put too much flux on it. But we have a really good connection here. Very good connection, actually. That's solid. So, quick, safe, easy to use. Get the Isotip battery operated soldering iron. And if you want something that's more heavy duty and portable, get the Isotip Butane. That's the Solder Pro 90. And this is the model 7700. And if you just want to get a standard solder iron, electrical, you know, I think everyone pretty much already has this. If you're watching this video, most likely you have something that plugs into a wall and you have electrical solder iron. So this is pretty standard. Everyone pretty much uses this. And Isotip, if you're watching, uh, I would really like some kind of like tip holder. So if you have something you can wrap around here that, you know, it goes on that wraps around and just you could tighten it kind of like a like a belt if this video was informative give me a big thumbs up if you know anyone that might be interested in this video go ahead and click on the share button below share this video to them help someone out subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos if you're interested in any of these cider irons check out the links in the video description below thanks guys for watching